All right. I know that people love their phones. They love, you know, things they can get done on them. They love how easy it is to get so much done even when they're out and about. But honestly, I think phones can mostly be a big distraction from your life with minimal improvements in your productivity, minimal things that you can actually do well from your phone that you couldn't just do somewhere else, like from an iPad, from a computer, which I'm sitting in front of. So today, that's what we're gonna talk about, why I love mail specifically, because it is so terrible. Because it's such a bad application specifically on your phone. It's okay in some other areas, but on your phone, it is terrible and I love it. Before we do that, a few ways to support the channel, become a member, curtismichael.ca slash membership, take a course, curtismichael.ca slash education, or if you're on Skillshare, there's links to all my courses on Skillshare below. So one of the biggest fooling things I think about your phone when it comes to dealing with email is that you think you can deal with it, and most of the time you can't, at least I can't ever. Uh, very rarely can I actually do anything with the email besides reply to it quickly or like putting it in my task manager is harder. There's so many things that are just harder to do on your phone that like, why? Why would I even bother doing it this way? There are so much more times when I can sit down and dedicate myself to work and say in front of my computer or in front of my iPad behind me and I can just really focus on the work instead of, you know, trying to half focus on the work and half do it and kind of do it poorly with more steps. I actually deleted Spark because it made it seem like it was easier, made it seem like I could do more and went with Mail for iOS because it is terrible and I love it. Now, theoretically, mail works fine. You can get email, you can reply, you can file things, you can do these basic tasks, but it takes so much longer. Specifically when receiving an email in mail for iOS, I find I have to quit the app, I have to refresh the app, I have to wait, I have to just keep kind of bumping it and noting, like hitting it and saying, hey, wake up, there's some mail coming. I know, I just got a two-factor authentication code for something I have to sign into right now. And where are you with this? You just don't have it. And it just eventually it will come in, but most of the time it takes a long time for it to come in. It just doesn't work very well. And now while well, filing an email, you can also do from your phone. It's a pain in the butt. It's a lot of taps to go to move and then from there to select your folder and choose what you want to do with it. It just takes a while to get it done. Conversely, on a, something like Spark, there's actually a keyboard command if you're on your iPad or it's just faster. You can use a swipe gesture and it'll start give you the move dialog right away. Um, deleting is even worse because in del to delete an email from Mail from iOS, you have to go to the move command to move it to a folder and choose trash as your folder. In theory, it's going to show me the trash folder sometimes, but it almost never does. Contrast this with Spark where I can just long swipe to the right and it deletes. And the email is just deleted. I don't have to make extra steps. It just works. So yes, Mail for iOS does work. You can technically check your email there, and this is why I love it. Because it's so bad, I am tempted to do it almost never. I only want to do it when I actually have things I have to deal with in the moment. Any other time, it is so much of a pain in the butt that I don't even bother. And you know what that means? I pick up my phone less. I try to do less from my phone. Because your phone, while it works, is a poor device to do much of your work from. You're much better to sit down at your computer, to sit down at your iPad, to sit down and focus solely on the work at hand as opposed to half dealing with the email, half watching your kid figure skate, half doing something else, interrupting a you know, conversation with a friend or something like that and just kind of half doing it poorly. You're far better off to actually focus on the task at hand and do it well by using mail because you're not gonna be tempted because it's such a bad app. So mail is going to be my iOS client of choice and it has been for a while. It will continue to be so because it's so bad that I just am never tempted to use it and then I get to focus on other things in my life. I suggest you do the same. If you like this video, thumbs up below, subscribe, hit the bell, all the YouTube stuff that you're supposed to say. But honestly, turn off notifications, go do stuff with your kids, go do stuff with your friends, do something else. If you want to take a course, you can do that at slash education. You can become a member to get all my courses, curtismichael.ca slash membership, or there's links to the courses on Skillshare below. Have an excellent day.